Welcome back, I'm Cynic Placebo. This is my holiday gaming marathon, and this is Flooded Village Christmas Eve. So let's dive into it and see what it has to offer. I don't know anything about it, but it looked like a puzzle game from the screenshot. Level X1, click sand tiles to flood the pirates. Okay. So I can just click, click that one and this one. Is that it? Okay. So I'm just trying to get the pirates into their ships, I guess, by flooding them. All right. Uh, very Christmassy, you know, it's got a Christmas uh, menu, but I don't really understand what else is Christmassy about it. Maybe we'll see. Do not freeze people. Oh, okay, so it's kind of wintry themed as well. So we don't want to do these ones because this would freeze him. Let's Well, let's see what it does, okay? Oh, interesting. So I guess it has to have water touch it, so if we do that, that freezes him. Okay, so let's retry that one again. Do not freeze people. Here we go. So, let's see, we want to go... Hmm, what's the most, the fastest way to go? I mean, we gotta flood this guy, right? He's the closest to the water. But then two over here, two over there, that's, you know, not great, but I guess that's as good as I'm gonna be able to do. All right, well, I guess it was enough for three stars, so good to go. And the music's just soft and calm. It's just a calm little puzzle game. So if you're in the mood for a chill Christmas puzzler, this is a good one. Water the seeds to grow the trees. Okay. So, same sort of deal. Alright, so this one... The question is, will the water flow through there? No, it won't. Okay. If I do that one and that one, that should be everything, right? Alright, these puzzles, I'm sure, are going to get harder. But they're starting off, you know, insanely easy. So, let's see... Let's see if we can dive through some of the easy ones and get to a harder one. Touch ice for Christmas trees. Okay. Uh, so we want them to be Christmas trees? We want them to be frozen? Is that the idea? Hmm. So like, if I do this, now all the water is frozen, which means I can't send it places. So we don't want to do that. <laughs> that was not good. Alright. So we want to do the ice very last, basically. Okay. Which means I've got to do something like this, and this, and this. Is there a way to do both of those at once? Uh, it doesn't look like it, but we can do that. <clears throat> and now, I guess if I do both of these, it would freeze everything, right? And turn it all into Christmas trees? Oh, there we go. Alright. So far, still pretty simple. Just trying to understand the mechanics. They're doing tutorials, basically. Level X5, click ice to destroy it. Oh, you can destroy ice so that we don't freeze people. Okay. So now I can just let this through and this through. And, oh, I probably should have... Hmm. Well, that's all I can think to do right now. Oh, it says 100%. Okay. So far, it's been very generous with the moves. I haven't had to do anything clever to try to save moves. All right, when all the water is frozen, you need to restart. Okay. Do I want Christmas trees, or do I just want normal trees? I guess I want pirates first, right? To be able to get to where they need to be. So let's do that guy. And then... I guess this guy next. And that guy next. And now... Now I think I need to make them all Christmas trees, right? Now all the trees are already touching water. So all I need to do is let the ice expand. Oh, failed. Don't freeze the pirates. Oh, okay. So now we get to the tricky stuff. When all the water's frozen, you need to restart. Okay. All right. So we, how on earth are we going to get the pirates to have water without the, and still get the Christmas trees? Oh, maybe I don't need them to be Christmas trees. Maybe I just missed something. Huh? That could be like all these guys up here. So if I just destroy this, I should be able to bring water through to it. Mm. Let's just do that. And then... And that's a that's a lot there that I, I'm going to have to dig to get to. That doesn't seem like the right way to go, but I don't know what else to do. So... Do I still have to make things into Christmas trees? Because it says that I'm 97% done. Interesting, but how how would I... Oh, this guy right here. Okay, so I have to destroy that and then do that. 
All right. I didn't see that little guy. He was hiding behind the other tree. So only two stars, because I did, didn't do the best. But let's move on, just so that we can see some of the more complex ones. Ah, do not drown villagers. That's another good one. So I don't want to fill this reservoir up, or this reservoir up, but I need to get the water to go through here. So, I mean, ah, seems like snaking through there would take a lot of time. That's three moves to get to there. But if I go this way, that's two, but then it's three to get up this way. Whereas if I go this way, it's three and then two. So it looks like it's a wash either way. So let's just go this way, I guess. All right, there wasn't a better way to go. That was it. But again, another mechanic that they've layered in nicely to not drown the villagers. So let's we'll see how they use it in level eight. All right, so we've got villagers very close to pirates, so I gotta be careful. Um, but like this guy, so I can't just go straight up through here. I have to go around, but that seems like a lot of moves to get up there. Let's see, one, two, three, four, versus one, two, uh, yeah, I can't go this way at all. So it's got to be this way, it seems like. All right, I, I don't know a better way to do that. Yeah, okay, it was three stars. So sometimes it's a little unclear as to whether or not you're doing it the right way, or whether or not you're just doing it the first way that occurred to you. All right, we're going to peek at this one. I'm not going to do this level, because again, I'm not trying to solve these exhaustively. I'm just trying to whet your appetite to let you see what sorts of games are available out there and what sorts of games you might enjoy. So if you like a little Christmas puzzler, then check this one out. But if not, come on back. I've been doing different holiday games practically every hour in December. So I've got the most Christmas around. So join me here for more of it. Catch you next time.